Hello everybody, happy Monday. I'm um, sorry, we're a little late on the videos. Last week, um, actually yesterday was Leah's birthday, so she celebrated the big five, so we were wrapped up with that. But anyway, I promised um, another haul video, and this is a very little haul of the last couple things I was waiting for my little um, birthday splurge. So what I have in front of me are the dies from Cat Scrappiness. Um, and that's catscrappiness.com. And I think I can put a link down below in the comments or in the description field. Cat Scrappiness Large Alphabet Dies. I want to say $36.99. Um, what I like about these dies is, first of all, they're reasonable. Every other die alphabet out there is like $50. Bucks. Um, second is they came all... Um, cut like this so they're not there are no burrs or anything like that I like the font it's a very simple everyday easy font and the size is pretty good too so um, so here's like the letter M which is about an inch and three quarters by two inches so a very nice size so I know you guys are going to say then okay let's see it Nance let's see it on a card well I haven't made a card yet because I just opened them but Let's just take out some letters here. So H U. Where's my G at? All right. So typical A2 size card. You guys can see these are very large letters. These are going to be great if you are into inlay die cut. Um, I know Jennifer McGuire does a lot of techniques with that. So this is your A2 size card. Um, this would be a five by seven. So definitely more formatted for five by seven. And I know she also has the lowercase letters and also numbers to match. So I would say if you're going to use these dies, they are a little large, but they're going to look great. Um, on a five by seven so just to give you an idea there all right and they did come like I said very nicely packaged she had them in a plastic bag and then she sent them in a very large uh, die envelope here which I will put on a magnetic sheet later and you also get the exclamation point the question mark which you can separate the question mark into a period and the ampersand ampersign die to go with it so I'm excited to try these out. I'll let you guys know when I make something with those. All right, the next thing I got from Cat Scrappiness, which I was anxious to get, especially for Valentine's Day, um, were the chocolate layered stamp. I don't live too far from Hershey, Pennsylvania, where they make the chocolate. My kids and I love going every year. So this is a layered chocolate bar and wrapper stamp. And of course I had to get the sentiments to go with it. Um, not too long ago, I got a, like a Hershey Kiss stamp, and I don't know, DRS Design makes this. Or if you have some of the new Poo stamps, you can make those look like chocolate. Um, so a lot of fun things there to do with chocolate. And like I said, Valentine's Day is coming up, so I'm going to try this one out here in a second. Um, and Kat also sent me a sample of her sequins. This is the cinnamon swirl mix, which has circles, squares, some um, seed beads, things like that in there. So very cool. Thank you, Kat, for that. I appreciate it. I also got a set from the ton. Um, Leah's birthday party was Barbie themed, and I did not have any Barbie stamps. So I thought, okay, I need some kind of a feminine stamp. Well, I had this stamp set, which I had purchased probably a year ago. So I got this to kind of go with it. And this is going to be great because, you know, we're coming up on wedding season, proms, things like that. So they go together great. Um, you can customize her dress with all of these different designs here. So you have feathers, you have sparkles, you have classy. Happy New Year. Cheers to you. Born classy. And then, of course, the guys there. And then this is cool. This is the, the background. So it's like a staircase background. So you can stamp them out and put them in front of the staircase. So I thought that was very neat. And um, that's about it for the halls. But I wanted to stamp out these um, layered chocolate stamps. So 
and get my mini misty out here. Oops. And I have a small piece of Nina Solar White here cut down to five and three and three quarters. So let's start with the top. I'm going to guess this is the first, second, and third layer. So we're going to start with our lightest colored ink. And I'm going to be using um, Stampin' Up! inks for this. They are photopolymer, so they're not silicone. Oh, by the way, speaking of silicone, I did email um, Anna Griffin about the torn plastic sleeves I got on the new treasury kit from the HSN kit and they are going to be sending me new sleeves so very happy to report that all right I just want to make sure that this is all going to fit here kind of doing it wonky here oh, that'll work okay so the top part's the chocolate this is the wrapper part and this is the first time using the stamps here guys so let's see here this is a uh, baked brown sugar by Stampin' Up. I was a Stampin' Up rep years ago. I'm thinking about signing back up again, um, just for the perks. I really don't sell it, but they they're doing their celebration right now, so you get some some goodies. So I'll let you guys know if I sign up and order some goodies with them. All right, so that came out pretty good. The, the thing about new stamps is they're very sticky, so they pull the paper up off the background there. So you just want to make sure you realign it, and that's why I have it tucked into the corner pretty good. All right, so that's layer number one. All right. Layer number two, I'm going to do in a medium brown ink, and that is Stampin' Up! as well, chocolate chip. So, sorry if my head gets in the way. I want to kind of line this up the right way here. And again, this is chocolate chip. And I'm using the stamp positioner because one, I want to make sure it's lined up right, but two, if I don't get that color transferred over correctly, um, I'll be able to restamp it. So I'm a little off on the corner there, but it's not too bad. Oh, this is going to make some really cool Valentine's cards. All right. And then the third layer I'm going to do in my darkest brown. Now I'm confused as to which is the, okay, so this is the part, you go like that, there we go. All right, the darkest brown I have is also Stampin' Up! This is Early Espresso. Is pretty cool it really looks like a 3d candy bar hats off cat this is a really really neat set all right so now we're gonna go into the wrapper um, same thing saw the layer goes down first I'm just gonna move this magnet up here And again, I'm just going to kind of line that up. Sorry about my head. All right, and then for these, I have a couple of different color gray inks. 
because we want it to look like the foil wrapper from Hershey's, of course. So the first color I have is a light gray. This is Lawn Fawn Manatee Gray Ink. This is like super light. Super light. Okay. Second layer of the wrapper we're going to do in Hero Arts Soft Granite Ink. There we go. Just kind of lining that up. so amused. All right. And then the last color, the last layer. Again, we're going to line this up. I'm actually going to be using uh, Encore. If you have Delicata, that's the same, or color box. This is a silver pigment ink. to make it look like foil. <laughs> this is a really neat set, guys. What do you think? It really looks like a candy bar, and then you have that little sparkle from the silver ink that looks like foil. Now I got my fingerprint right there, so we'll just take our mono eraser and careful not to touch that silver ink because it's going to take a second to dry. So then we would just mount it on a card base. I'll probably put some sequins on there to cover that up and stamp one of our cute little sentiments on there. So, oh, where's those chocolate sentiments at? Here we go. I'd give up chocolate, but I'm no quitter. Chocolate doesn't ask silly questions. Chocolate understands. Anytime is a good time for chocolate. So these are just so cute. And uh, they would look cute on there. So there we go, guys. The end of my little birthday mini haul. Thank you guys so much for the birthday wishes for Leah and I. We were very excited to get them. And I will link um, these stamps from Cat Scrappiness, the dies, and also the stamps from the ton in the description box below. If you have any questions, of course, put them below. I appreciate your comments, your thumbs up, and keep on stamping.